it is game day. That's it, guys. Uh, I did all the tuning I could. I swapped out gears and oils. Also, I am race ready today. Uh, watch the other video about the bag and see what's going on. But here's my journey. Round two. All right, we're here. Okay, so we're here finally competing. I got the MST ready. I have it on the stand, making sure everything's working okay. Uh, this is gonna be the first run with the new tires. Uh, let's go, check it out. So I did fail a tech. I'm hoping that this helps a little bit and go. I did fail inspection, so I had to use the Subaru's diffuser in order to pass tech. Well, maybe. So uh, I did a couple changes to the car. Uh, what I do? I ended up changing the turbo. Changed the turbo on the car. I changed the boost. Reset that for myself. I didn't like the way it was running earlier. All the configuration and the boost were coming in too late. And it wasn't my style of driving. So I ended up changing that. Uh, I am going to be running uh, the... What battery is this? The uh, ProTech uh, high voltage battery. That's what I'm going to be running here. Uh, compared to the Gen Ace, I feel like because I've had the Gen Ace for so long, I feel like it doesn't have that power. Uh, I did have to adjust a few things on the remote in order to kind of compensate for that extra boost that the high voltage has. Uh, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you think about a uh, regular you know, LiPo battery versus a high voltage battery? Uh, and let me know. All right, guys. So we're about to start.
That was so much fun and the race was amazing. They changed the track the night before. So going in there, I didn't know what to expect, which was a lot of fun. Everybody was on the same page. We got new tires. Uh, we did the inspection. I almost didn't pass inspection because my rear bumper was a little bit too high. Uh, so this might be the last time I run this chassis or excuse me, run this body. And yeah, this I love this body. I love it. It came out really good. There's a couple of things I still need to do with it, but I really did enjoy running this body at the competition. I had about a month with the chassis itself. I have from building it and taking it to the track. I think I've only taken it maybe two or three times to the track. Uh, and I would say maybe I've put eight hours of track time with this body. And again, I'm still new. I've only been really doing this for four or five months uh, as the time of this video. And I'm still learning a lot. I did some tuning to it as I was going into the rounds and maybe I shouldn't have done that. I changed the turbo timing and the boost on here and I love the way I'm not going to lie. I wish I would have done it earlier, maybe the night before or the last time I had gone to the track to do those adjustments because it made such a huge difference when I was trying to go side by side with the car. And two, as I was on the track as well, I wasn't practicing correctly. I was missing the lines and looking back, I know where I went wrong, but yeah, I love this chassis, this, this um, EXGT chassis. I, I really, really do enjoy using it. It's all carbon fiber. Uh, the only thing I think I had was I get my nerves. I think got to me a little bit <clears throat> and, um, there's this one instance on the track. It, the car didn't want to uh, go into its fade and I couldn't drift. So I think that totally messed me up, but I missed the lines a little bit. It's okay. It's such a huge improvement from my last race that I had and I'm not walking it away disappointed with that in mind um, I can't wait till the next one that's coming up I'm hoping to move into the next rounds uh, so uh, the only thing I did include uh, during the track time if you guys can see here the OTA from Hobby Week I went ahead and put that there so that I could do on the fly adjustments and I did have that rear diffuser if you watch the video. I did have that rear diffuser. Stay tuned for what body I'm gonna choose with a couple options. But if you have any recommendations for me, go ahead and leave them down below. Leave a comment. Thank you for all the support. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh
Uh, stay tuned for more.